Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben, and today I'm playing the Super Nintendo classic, James Bond Jr. Uh, have you heard the news, James something? I don't know, I'm, I'm at the academy, I'm trying to cut through it. Every time I push a button, it feels like the game is, is breaking. Okay, I'm in. Right, we can jump. We can throw some kind of grenade. Kick, punch. I'm there. Right, I've got a power up, I can now jump higher. Ah, I think they're barrels. Possibly grenades. Why is there a punch? Christ. There's punch and kick options, but reasonably, they're the same thing, aren't they? I'm I'm foregoing all uh oh, and that was the first level. We'll catch up to that boss in six years. Now it's a flight sim. Why the hell not? Okay, flight flight sim might have been generous. It, this is actually quite cool, the way you can throw the bombs by moving at different speeds. Yeah, this is um, this is one of the crap games of my Super Nintendo collection. It, it is crap. It's a mixture of, of this and the, the 2D platform we saw earlier. Um, I don't know in, in what exact proportion it is, is a mixture. Like... Is it mostly 2D platformer? Is it mostly this? I always assumed it was mostly 2D platformer because otherwise it's not really James Bond Jr, is it? Also, why is it James Bond Jr? Why not James Bond? Clearly this section is from a different game. I've got a power up and I don't know how to use it. Let's find out. I don't think I have got a power up. That red rocket's nothing apparently. Quite nice just how fast you can throw these fuckers out though. I'm, I'm really just flinging these all over the place. It's very satisfying and I'm falling. So obviously you start from the start of the level. There's no there's no checkpoints or, or anything like that on offer. Shit. Right, I need to concentrate now because because I need to get through this bit so we can get to more of the shit game. I think the reason it's James Bond Jr. Ah, Christ, this is really hard using this this controller. There's no there's no smoothing, and there's very very little uh, places to hide. Shit. That's what they do, they, they grab onto you. Right. Fuck, this is so difficult. Right, here we go. This is the one. And, and to think, Goldeneye is grand. Christ, I just can't play this for shit. Game over, press start button to, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to end the game. Try and get to the menu. Here it is. This is the only good thing about this game. That bit of music is quite enjoyable. Um, right. Title music by Dennis and make uh, Cray. You'll notice there's no reference to any kind of Albert Broccoli or Ian Fleming types. Ah, oh, there's a there's a jet section. Right, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a proper go. Obviously, I'm I'm, I'm gonna type in a code I know. Uh, no, I'm not actually because it seems to be next to impossible to get that screen to actually work. We're in Warfield Academy, not a not a real place as far as I'm aware. Warfield sounds very vaguely like Warwick. So th this first section of the game has literally one enemy. I'm going to throw this grenade at. I actually got him that time. Right. I want to try and get the other one as well. Ah, oh, damn it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't work. The damn grenade button. Immediate hard cut to this helicopter section. God only knows why. Right. Actually going to make it through this as well. I, 
I can say for certain that I, I have completed this bit before, although it's not easy by any means. I think the key is, if, if you do die once, you just got to start over because you need that shield power up. That, is that weird? I, I have definitely completed this at least once before because I can remember the next level and it's, uh, it is an on foot bit. It's not good. Right. You gotta take stuff out. What the fuck? I wasn't even close to that. Damn it! Horse shit that was. I will, if I fail to make it, you know, shortly, I will revert to a. Uh, give me that. What the, that doesn't seem to do anything. And pause it at least. Everyone's got a death wish in this. Like the helicopters don't seem to try and shoot at me. They just seem to ram me. Also, how many helicopters drop bombs? Look, I mean, I don't think many planes drop bombs. It's all like you know, missiles and shit. These are clearly just fucking drop and hope. Right, got a shield. Got the mysterious red power up, which I don't know what it does. Doesn't seem like I have to actually catch any kind of bullet with the shield for it to work. Which is good because. Fuck me. Another one had a death wish there. Quite good sound effects. I'll give them that. I blew that up. I don't know why. And there's a score counter. I do know why. Oh, nearly, nearly died there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Slightly disproportionate response there. Uh, fling them forward. Right. Got my shield back at full power. I think I've got it this time. I do quite like that truck with the barrage balloons. It only had like one or two. It didn't just have an infinite supply. How am I getting past this tree? That's ludicrous. The other helicopters don't have to worry. This is really poor level design, because the ground is way too high up. Ah, somehow I've lost all my shield. Yeah, the ground's too high up. It, sh it should be, you know, at the bottom of the screen, so you can actually have some level, some, some screen space for the level, you know. I reckon there's an indoor section. Oh, my bullets have something else. See those, I don't know, shrapnel coming off? I reckon that's what the bullet power-up does. Ooh. That's quite tough. This, uh... Weirdly, this is like a much cheaper version of that other, that Desert Strike game I played a bit of. It's so hard to pick up the power-ups from those planes, because they, they go by incredibly fast. And as I've said before, there's not really enough space on screen. Def definitely close enough there. They give you a much larger footprint having this shield, but it is vital. I'd have definitely just died then otherwise. How long is this level? There was no way of avoiding that. There, was, there wasn't enough space on the... Again, I can't... I feel like I've done something to cause this. I, I know I haven't. I know it's just a shit game, but still. It's games like this that make you realise that, oh yeah, g games used to, ah, they used to be just terrible. That, that, there was a little tunnel there. I think you go through that and that's basically the end of this. That one was so high up it was impossible to shoot. Oh, oh. Alright. 
If you, if you go right at the front, you can kind of hit all the enemies before they they have a chance to spawn any bullets in. in the, unless they're a helicopter and you'll just fly into them and die. There's definitely a bullet gun. Okay, okay, here we go. Got to fly through this tunnel, and then that's basically it. I hope this is tracing a nice knob shape. It's actually very hard to fly forwards. I'm letting the screen push me. Hit! I hit a stalag something. So let's go stalag type. Good. I'm in the cave. I've got two lives left. This is entirely doable. I just gotta get it right. It's 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 more about getting the assumption of where the hitbox on the helicopter right is than than actually doing this with skill or grace. Here we go. Here we go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Right, don't 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 panic. I think it will land the helicopter now. Oh fuck. I mean boss fight? I only all one life left. I might genuinely have to cheat in a minute. Oh, so they gradually just zoom in and kill you. Well, that's game over then. Right. I'm gonna look up a cheat. Yeah, we used to call them cheats, not hacking. Ah, game facts. Always right where I need you. Um, okay. Rather spectacularly, the first code on there is 007, which I I did actually attempt to guess, but I couldn't figure out how to input the code. There's no menu or anything. You just It loads up. You hit start. Boom. Tells you to enter a password or fuck off. We're going to go for the last level. Press continue. Press control pad to change number. Press select button to choose number. Obviously. Free, free, free. free. There we go. Free, free, five, free. Here we go. Right. You ready for this? Last level of the game. It's going to be intense. I bet it's, you know, it'll be... Blofeld or something. We're in an ice place. Uh! Oh, that was, uh... I'm pretty sure they, they did all the platforming and people quite liked it, but they could only build like four levels, so they just had to pad it out with all the other shit. Cause it's not it's not terrible by any means. The scaling is weird though. He's he's very large on the screen. Okay, I need I need the jump boots, otherwise I can't get through here. Um, I'm guessing the jump boots must be down here because there's nowhere else of this level. No. Okay. I wonder if they make it so you have to have done the first level or you can't. Because remember, I picked up those those trainers. I think they might be a persistent thing, because I have strong memories of as a kid thinking it's weird that that first level gives you those in, su in such a nonchalant fashion, and then they are absolutely required for the rest of the game. Ah, box. Maybe I can just push it, yep. I'm an idiot. Well. To be, to be fair, it blends in quite well with the background, right? Just had to remember how to throw. So assume there's some reason. Nope, killed myself there. Hmm. I wonder if there's more blocks around. Uh, well, there's no alternate path. Hang on. The one I pushed before moved back. That means the game doesn't have enough memory to hold it in place. Which means I can't go adding more. Yep, nailed it. Uh, 
Alright. Fuck me. Bit of ice there. Caught my elbow, but it didn't seem to kill me. Alright, so I can't can't use that anyway. Hmm. Well, I fucked that one up. So, given that there's two attack buttons and grenades, you'd think there might be a few more enemies, wouldn't you? I've yet to I've come across one in the whole game. Granted, I have only played one and a bit levels. <gasps> I thought they were jump boots, but actually they're spiked shoes, which allow me to move better. I still skid a little bit, but I'll allow it. But there's a boss coming. Oh crap. That wasn't, wasn't anything. I think I've still got the spiked shoes on. I, I definitely feel like I'm controlling slightly better. Also, given that there have been no enemies so far, why the fuck is it giving me quite so many grenades? Like, a de I've got 17, now I've got 20. It's too much, isn't it? I don't think there's any way to get that fucker unless, unless, maybe there's a power I don't know about. Fucking love that animation. <laughs> so, it's just terrible, isn't it? I don't know which I like more, play, playing really good games or playing really bad games. There's, there's a subtle joy in, in total dross like this. As as a speedrunner's technique, there, I'd, I took the first hit just so I could I'd be all right for the second. Okay, weird. I first one of them I tried to run through as it was on the upswing. I got bumped off it. That one I just I managed to make it through. Have I got these trainers still? I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I have. No, I haven't. Actually, I think I had because I'm pretty sure the graphic on his on his shoes changed slightly the first time I got them. Well, the only trouble is, now what? Can I blow them up? Nope. The momentum of me throwing pushed me onto the... Fuck. I can now confirm that that the, the flight sections are in fact worse than... No, what am I trying to say? It's all shit, is what I'm trying to say. Like that's the most egregious bit. You have, you have to wait. You should be able to time it perfectly to run through quick. And every so often, you, instead of jumping, you, you have to do a kick. It helps the rhythm. See? Ah, oh, fucking... See, they respawn sometimes, but not every time. It's clearly just a, a memory fuck-up as opposed to actual... Dis I just did a roll. How did I do that? Huh. How did I do that? Hold down. Push forwards. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. If you push down in the direction at the same time, you do a... I wonder if that... There's no logical use for that. Because there's no actual enemies to fight. There's, there's a lizard in there, apparently. I wonder if I can break it. Um, the the throw item button is very precarious as well. Doesn't seem to work every time, or or indeed every other time. Okay, we know we've already. There's nothing good to the right. It's just the mystery of this area. Right. Okay, that does nothing. Unless I have to get those shoes and they'll protect people. No, I definitely picked them up before. And it led me nowhere. Unless it's like a trick. And if you put any code into the game, it prevents you from going on. Come on, James. For Queen and Country, you, c you can figure this out. Right. No, that didn't help me. No. Well, uh, that was that was James Bond Jr. It's um. Hang on, bear with me. I did.
something I perhaps shouldn't have. I tried removing the cartridge. So I'm looking at it here, and it's uh, it's not great. See that? I'll have had to unmirror it for that. But basically, it's a very small logo. I can see James on here, and in the background, there's there's a car. It's incredibly small print, actually. Yeah, the car. There's a car. I can see that. There's the helicopters, and there's there's some characters. There's a sort of sciencey looking nerd who I imagine is Q, and then there's what appears to be three different villains. One of which looks kind of like the Mandarin crossed with Claw from Inspector Gadget. One of them looks like Claw from Inspector Gadget crossed with a gangster. And one of them looks like Claw from Inspector Gadget crossed with Mr. T. Which is curious, because you never see Claw's face in Inspector Gadget. There's also a green-haired person on a motorbike. I, I don't... Camera, do the work. Can you pick this up, please? Can you, I, I doubt you'll be able to make any of this out, but it's... It's intriguing nonetheless. I, do, I don't know if a camera exists that's high resolution enough to pick this image up. Because, to be honest, I'm looking at this. Uh, I can't really make it out. And my eyesight's good. Anyway, anyway that was James Bond Jr. And it's, it, and it's shit. 